Hey guys and welcome to this fifth video of the series implementing secure CI/CD pipelines. In this video, we will look at how can we configure our lab environment over the cloud and we will be using Amazon Web Services for this particular purpose. Now as I told in the last video, here we can see that uh, we need GitHub so we don't need a server for this purpose. We need a Jenkins server. Uh, we need a server where we have Defect Dojo installed and one of the server where Jira is installed. Also, we do require a server that is having Tomcat installed and will act as our production environment server. For this artifactory thing, we will be using Jenkins itself to store the builds. So, if we talk about this particular series, uh, we will be configuring Jenkins and Tomcat. Uh, in the next series, when we will come to integrating all the things with Defect Dojo and Jira, we will be uh, configuring these two servers on the fly. For now, we will be configuring uh, the Jenkins server and the Tomcat server. And uh, these are some of the things that are required for Jenkins to run. So Java needs to be installed on that particular box and Maven needs to be installed. So we will look at uh, how these things work. Uh, so before proceeding, if we just uh, have a very simple talk on how to create EC2 instances, it's very easy. You can sign up for a new AWS account and you can get 12 months of limited usage free. Uh, but uh, one of the thing is the Jenkins server requires a little bit more computation power than it is uh, provided in the free tire. So I'll be using the paid version of the machine so that uh, the performance is uh, really good in this uh, video series. So the steps include we just need to uh, log into the AWS management console and in the services we need to select the EC2 service that is Elastic Computing Cloud and which is the service that we require in order to create these servers. Then we'll go to launch instance and uh, all the boxes we require will be running Ubuntu Server 18.04 and uh, this is for the like you can create number of instances at uh, the configuration time itself. So for now we will be creating two instances, uh, one for the uh, Tomcat production instance and another for one for the Jenkins part. Once that is done, you need to save the SSH key pair that is being provided by the AWS services itself. Uh, since SSHing AWS uh, machines using password is not allowed, so you need to keep this particular key safe and you can log into the machine using this SSH key. Okay, so when we talk about the demo, here is my AWS console and I have already logged into the uh, console. You can see I'm in the Mumbai region and there is no such instance running uh, right now. So I'll just go to launch instance. I'll select Ubuntu and uh, for this purpose I'll be using t2.medium however this is not free. I'll go and I'll just say review and launch. This is all right. This is a security group. So security group, uh, you can think of it is uh, it defines who all are allowed to actually access this particular server and more importantly, which services are being allowed uh, and which traffic can access that particular service. So what we will do is we can create a security group specifically for our course. So let's say it DevSec. Ops. and uh, right now only SSH traffic is allowed to this particular host so we'll just go add rule and uh, custom TCP rule we'll say 0 to 10,000 this is actually not recommended but uh, I am doing this for the purpose that I don't need to do again and again whenever I am creating any of the server so we are allowing uh, from port 1 to 10,000 and the source can be anywhere. Okay. So just review and launch. And uh, we want two instances for the same. So here are the instance details. 
not 12 2 okay so yeah everything looks fine and we'll just go ahead and launch these instances it says uh, choose an existing key pair no key pairs form so what the we'll do is we can say create a new key pair and the key pair name is DevSecOps yeah we'll download the key pair and we will launch the instances so now if I go to my EC2 instance I can see two of my servers are initializing right now and this will take usually like one two minutes and it will be up and running so just to identify I'm just giving the name so first server is let's say Jenkins and okay, I think I need to wait till the time it's completely initialized okay cool so it's running now so now I'll give the name as Jenkins here and for the another host okay and then tomcat okay so we will be using this particular machine which is having the public IP of 13.233.252.1 as my Jenkins machine and this particular machines uh, as my production instance where I'll be running tomcat and this tomcat will host my web application okay so we have created the new SSH key pair and save it now one of the thing is like um, for this initial setup we really don't want to remember the names of remember these different IPs while accessing so what I'll do is I'll save these IPs in my etc hosts file and uh, if you are in Linux that is in etc hosts if you are in Windows that comes under C Windows system 32 drivers etc hosts so you can edit that file and you can mention these IPs and a name so that you don't remember you don't need to remember the IP each time okay so adding these values here is here I am C Windows system 32 drivers etc hosts and if I just edit it and let's say these are my IPs this one is for Jenkins so I'll say this and this one is for Tomcat and I'll save this file it's asking me to open it in administrator mode I've opened it and saved this okay so we have the initial setup ready let's try doing SSH into one of the files now since I am on a Windows box I am using putty for this purpose and if you are on Linux you can simply change the permissions of the SSH key uh, so that uh, the only reading readable permissions are for the owner and no one else and then you can use the SSH hyphen IE to provide the identity and the PEM file and uh, the address to the server but in my case putty only accepts PPK format of a file however the file we have downloaded is uh, in PEM format so we can go ahead and uh, change the format of this file to PPK and then we can use it okay so for this purpose we will be using putty gen which is a utility that comes with putty and you can convert by just importing the key here I'll go to my downloads and okay okay let me try once again so it's in downloads and DevSecOps yeah here it is so here's the file and we just need to say that export the open SSH key yes and we want to store it in and we can save the private key in the keys folder and let's say I'm giving the name DevSecOps okay so now if I open putty 
and let's say my host name is Jenkins and to add the private key I need to go into SSH auth in this particular file Oops, sorry I think this no yes yeah, this one so it's asking me for the first time recognition the default username is Ubuntu and we can successfully log into the machine okay so that's it for this video and in the next video we will look more about how can we set up the Jenkins server and all different servers so thanks for watching this video have a great time